Hello and welcome to Macheads. I'm John Loeb and here's my partner Alex Nickel. Today we're here to show you what is root and what can you do with root priv privileges. So, Alex. Okay. Well, first of all, the first trick is how to enable the root user. Now, this is something which you can do on a computer without any access to the computer. And it has to be a Macintosh computer. Right here you see is the log on screen and we have to click a username to log in. We're going to fix that. You hold the power button for about five seconds to shut down the computer. And when it shuts down, the screen should go dark. Now, now we're going to turn on the computer like normal. Except we're going to hold the Apple key and we're going to hold the S key. So let's turn it on and hold Apple S. Now you'll notice it looks like it's doing it normally at first. You know, the normal screen. But then you're going to see some black and white stuff come up on the computer. So right here. And this is actually a terminal. And you, all you had to do is turn it on and hold Apple S in order to get to this terminal. So now, <clears throat> once it comes up, you're going to wait like 10 seconds, then hit enter. Then what I want you to do is type mount, and John will put this on the screen for me, space dash u w space slash. And now we're going to hit enter, and what that does is it makes us able to edit the file system and do stuff and you might get an error thing with that or anything but it will work so now what we want to type is pass wd p a s s w d and hit enter <coughs> now what you're going to do is type a password it won't display while you're typing and confirm it after you hit enter and type it again when it says confirm password and then hit enter now when you type pass wd it will come up and say new password you type the password hit enter confirm the password hit enter and then what you want to do once you're done with that process, is you type exit, E X I T. And now, normally, when you hit it, a little logout thing will come at the bottom of the screen and say logout, and then the computer will boot up and you'll be back at the login screen. If that doesn't happen, type exit again and hit enter until it does. And then, so that didn't work for me the first time, I type exit again and hit enter. And now, this time, it's working. And you can see all this stuff is going to come up on the screen. And in about 10 to 20 seconds, we'll have the logon screen up again. So once the logon screen is up again, I'll show you what to do. So anyway, so now here is the logon screen. Let me dim the brightness a little so you can see it. And right here, you'll notice that there is something on the login screen called Other. It's normally blue and black. What you do is you click that, and then you type the username is root, or the name is root. And then you click in the password field and remember when we had all that black code up you typed pass wd and then typed a password and confirmed that password the password to root is whatever we type there in my case it's really long so we're gonna do another cut right here as I type this okay so now you should get the logging in thing and then eventually a desktop will come up you might not have a lot of files and folders on the desktop in fact it'll be like a brand new account now on this root account you will notice a few things that it's there. Anyway, so um, whatever you have to set to come up will come up. Uh, like that terminal that came up is just me. And, uh, you know, so normally it'll just be a normal user. And you can do anything you want to on root. And you can go into system preferences and change another user's password and do whatever you want with the root user. So, yeah, that's how life is. Anyway, that's a huge security hole. Do it to whoever you want. Don't blame us, okay? It's not our fault. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, Thanks. and so here we are with Mac Heads. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, um, just write in the comment box and we'll answer them. Thank you.